Hello, Nomads Cult, and there's a new update 199 or 2.0. So I record this uh, uh, with version 2.0, but 199 also has this feature. So there's a new operations menu, and I start with this video with the inflate um, thing here, this thing in the, in the middle. So I'm using the web demo at the moment because um, there are yeah, no bugs at the moment. So you have to maybe a, a wait a little bit for the update. And okay, so this is the operations menu here. This is a new icon and these are the operations you can make and first I show you what the icons do a little bit. So I'm using um, the cell mask. Sorry, I have to search for the mask tools. Hide cell mask. So I'm masking a part here and I'm using the hide tool and I'm hiding a little bit. So this is the wireframe, so we can see it a little bit better. So here in the operations menu, there are at the top filter. So at the moment the mask is active, now it's not active and hide. So maybe I disable the two options and I'm using the inflate slider so you see the whole sphere gets bigger so you only see a little bit of difference here at the mesh parts here where the mesh is a little bit denser so okay so then I activate the first filter the mask filter and then I inflate again so you see the mask is now active so like this and the next filter is the height filter so when i inflate now both parts are yeah protected so it's a protection filter And here the other thing is um, when you have layers here, you can add a layer. So when a layer is active, then the layer filter is also possible um, to use as a filter. Um, okay, so. so now I clear here everything. So I have to clear the mask. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so I turn the wireframe off and I need a little bit more topology. So I subdivide it again. So I'm using here a mask tool and I'm masking here the whole object. So with a, such a tri planner mask. And so here. Now the whole thing is mask, so I am using now the inflate tool. So you can use here the slider and create such effects. So like this. So yeah, and this inflate thing here this is not new so it's only a new way to do it so because in fact um, the inflate thing uh, is nothing else uh, like the sorry i have to search it here paint flatten pinch project so here the layer tool so at the moment the layer tool is um, in, in dot mode so when you use lock radius and 
so here you you see also settings here you can use uh, the layer tool in inflate mode and here's uh, relax normal so you can see here inflate normal relax setting and so now when i brush here with a with a tool you get the same effect like the the inflate slider here so like this so in fact layer tool or the inflate brush so where is it yeah the web demo is sometimes here's the inflate tool but the inflate tool um, doesn't have the settings for um, the normal relax so but it works also so the layer tool has the same settings here as the inflate thing here okay I show you another thing so I switch back to to my default application so so here is a nice example uh, for the inflate thing so i have to search the the small thing here where i want to demonstrate yeah i lost it maybe this one here let's pick this this piece here so i'm using the cell mask tool lasso is active so i'm masking here this part and now i invert the selection and here in in the operations menu so you see here this is the default setting normal relax so when you use now here the the inflate this happens here So here is a, the mesh different than here. So when you use here the inflate like this, this happens. So, and you can change here the normal relax option or you can disable it. So when the checkbox is off and you use the, the inflate, then the inflate works everything in the same uh, distance so like this here and this is also important here for so maybe um, I clear here the mask so and the multi-resolution let's use so we can see it a little oops sorry so you see here the, the mesh density is a little bit different and when you use now here the inflate um, option you see here there are yeah, yeah the mesh is not like a sphere so and when you ch uh, deselect the checkbox then you see it's better it's not perfect but it's it's better so checkbox on you get such an effect and checkbox off you get it like this so that's all about the inflate uh, thing here and for the other things i make separate tutorials so here um, these are the filters and um, okay and this is the inflate slider
that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.